and your weather authority hour by hour forecast. The people you know, the news you trust. This is WOWT 6 News 10 at 10. Good evening, I'm Jessica Gill. And I'm Matthew Smith. Tonight, a story you will see only on 6. A former fullback and coach now fighting to preserve those cherished moments after thieves steal his 1952 Rose Bowl championship rings. As Chase Moffat explains, the price of this crime worth far more than dollars and cents. He himself in the backfield handling the ball, pitches back to his fullback Tate who swings right around the right side, drives over for a touchdown. Uh, I started gaining a lot of ground. I, I think I may have gained probably well over 150 yards for the game and didn't play the last quarter. The 1952 Rose Bowl, Bill Tate played a phenomenal game. This, one of his two touchdowns that day. Tate cuts back over right side and drives all the way down. That was way back, Chase, before we weren't very, I was a 190 pound fullback, so I wasn't very big. The memory still crystal clear. Tate and his fighting Illini would go on to beat Stanford. He would take with him MVP honors. Later in 1964 at Wake Forest, more hardware for top coach. Some of my competitors on that panel, there were eight coaches selected. Some of, one of them was Bear Bryant, one of them was Bob Devaney. But just this past Tuesday, thieves targeted Tate's Omaha home, stealing those championship rings and watches from his nightstand. I was only gone 20 minutes to take my dogs out, and uh, that... I don't know, those people must be very good at what they do um, because they, they did it swiftly. And Tate is grateful that the thief for thieves didn't get their hands on the serious collector's items, including the 64 Coach of the Year trophy, other signed memorabilia, including the 52 program. So the football icon, later coaching players like Dick Buckus and Brian Piccolo of Brian's Song, is left reflecting on a lifetime of memories on the game he so loves. You can't replace stuff that's uh, priceless. Yeah. That, that's the reason why I was hurt so much about it. And yet a hole remains here he can't fill like before. And, and all the memories, you know, that, that go with that. Mm. Yeah, we're live here now in the newsroom. In fact, the Omaha police report on this theft lists a property value in the thousands of dollars, but Tate is also hopeful because his name is inscribed in that MVP ring. He also thinks the uniqueness of the other fine jewelry that was taken can also be an easy spot for someone who knows anything about these crimes. In fact, if you know anything, you're asked to call Omaha Police 402-444-7867. Reporting live with photographer Kyle Benneke, Chase Moffitt, WWT 6 News. Thank you for that live report, Chase. Police reports also say the front door was broken into. It appears there was forced entry into Tate's home. However, he tells us Crime Lab was unable to find any fingerprints at his home. 